Did you know that your emotions are communicating with you? They actually speak the language of your soul. Your emotions share insight that can lead to a better understanding of yourself. There are three levels of emotions that we're going to explore. I'll start with level one. Level one emotion, it's sadness, low mood, and feeling down. This level of emotion is when you're in a sad, depressive state. It's when you just lack the energy. It's the lowest energy type of emotion. Whenever you're feeling sad and low and you're feeling down, this is when your emotions are communicating that you really need to release something in your life that you're holding on to. Usually it's when you've been holding on to something for too long and the season is up and it's time for you to release. These emotions can come when you're holding on to certain expectations or holding on to a certain person, holding on to a habit that needs to change, or even holding on to a dead end job. You can begin to feel low and to feel sad. You really wanna pay attention to yourself during this time because this is your emotions communicating and telling you you're in a state that's the lowest of low. And if you don't do anything, things can go downhill. So you wanna listen and pay attention to your emotions. You wanna feel your feelings. You wanna analyze what you're feeling and why you're feeling that way. Asking yourself questions. Why am I feeling so down today? Why am I so low? What am I thinking about? What's been bothering me that I've been ignoring? I've been too busy to stop and pay more attention to what's going on. But when you're in this level one emotional state, it's time for you to let go of the old and embrace the new. It sounds great, but that can be the most difficult thing that you do. See, our minds are programmed to fight against change. When change is happening in our lives, we often fear we often hold back or we want to stay in our comfort zone. We want to avoid change. We want to do things, even though we, we want, a, you know, we, we always look at a new life and new goals and we want change and we want transformation. Our minds fight against it with, with the fear emotion and just feeling timid and anxious about change. But you want to begin to practice letting go of the old. And you do this by allowing yourself to accept what's new. Now, during this level one stage of emotion, when you're feeling down and you're dealing with change and accepting what's new, and it's time for you to let go of the old and let go of some of those things, it's going to be tough. But I want to encourage you to begin to practice the self-care. This is why your self-care routine is important. This is why talking things through is important and writing things out through journaling and speaking positive affirmations and listening to yourself, listening to your feelings and what's going on, acknowledging and accepting yourself. This is the time where you need to focus more on meditating and relaxing and resting and drinking lots of water and really nurturing yourself mind body and spirit this is not an easy thing to do but i want to encourage you to listen in and instead of avoiding and suppressing these emotions pay attention to the emotions and begin to take the action that's necessary to heal through these emotions. Level number two emotions involve irritation, anger, and rage. These emotions come when something or someone has activated your protection system. And this usually happens due to your boundaries being crossed, someone was disrespectful to you, or you feel unprotected and unsafe. When this happens, it's like an and an alarm goes off in your emotions and you're irritated or you're angry or you're enraged and you're like, no, and you just want to just, you know, fight back or yell or scream. But you have this, it's the opposite of level one because level one is more low energy. 
But level two is more high impact energy of rage and anger and irritation. And this is happening because you feel unsafe. Someone has overstepped the boundaries. Someone disrespected you and you're not going for it. This is why it's best to remove yourself from negative people and from situations and circumstances that trigger these emotions. You wanna ask yourself, what can I do to create more safety and peace in my life right now? Don't ignore it. You want to take some type of action. I remember being in that place. I was talking to um, someone, it was a friend of mine and we was on the phone and she said something that irritated me. And it was like she was trying to be it's like she was trying to accuse me of something and it was a situation that i had nothing to do with it clearly wasn't my fault and she was trying to find someone to blame and it was to the point where i was telling her i have nothing to do with that this has nothing to do with me i am not to blame for this this is not my fault and after telling her that over and over again she was not trying to hear it and I just got really irritated and I said, okay. <laughs> it's like I, I stopped myself, I felt the emotion and I said, okay, it's time for me to get off of this phone. And that's exactly what I did. I told her, you know what? I gotta go, you're not listening to me right now and I refuse to continue to go back and forth with you. And I hung up the phone. You wanna make sure that you separate yourself from any situation that's causing this level two emotion when it comes to the irritation, anger, and rage. Remove yourself, remove yourself completely. And then take some time to process what happened by yourself. You don't have to process it with the other person. You don't have to argue and fight and go back and forth with the other person. Process the situation with yourself, make peace with yourself, and do what's best for you. Because when you're dealing with disrespect or someone crossing your boundaries, you need to remove yourself. And then if this relationship is important to you, you wanna let them know, have the conversation with them. I will not tolerate that. I will not tolerate you accusing me of anything. Are you trying to blame me for something or disrespect me in any kind of way? I will remove myself. Let them know let them know and keep it moving but it's very important that you do address your feelings that you don't ignore it never ignore how you feel that is so unhealthy because what happens is you you suppress those emotions and those emotions can cause you to feel sick it can weigh your spirit down you want to address it you want to release it. You want to acknowledge it. It's best that you sit with those emotions, accept those emotions, acknowledge them, see where the root cause of the emotion is and take action to heal. Now, level three emotion is, a, is more about you. Level three emotion is when you're feeling guilt, regret, and shame. These emotions are a sign that you have gone against your own personal values. It's when you go against your personal value system, your emotions are telling you to never do that again and to never repeat that particular behavior. Whenever you're feeling that guilt and shame, it's saying to you, this is not who you are. You don't deserve this. Don't repeat it. Don't allow it. Move out of that. And sometimes you can be in relationships with people that can cause you to feel guilty or shame. And they'll, you know, do things to manipulate you and make you feel bad, even when it's not your fault or you didn't do anything wrong. This is when you need to understand and analyze what's going on. Why, why, ask yourself, why am I feeling guilty? Why am I feeling shame? Why am I feeling regret? And listen in. Oh, this, because this is not who I am. I'm not the type of person to allow myself to stay in situations like this. So I will never do this again. I'll never repeat this behavior. I'll never allow this again. Learn from that situation and be willing to move forward as you learn from that situation. Again, you wanna address that emotion. 
whatever it is, you want to acknowledge it, accept it, journal, write it out, get it out of you, release it. Where does it come from? Pray about it, meditate about it, go to therapy, do the work, do the healing work, release it, do the forgiveness work. This is how you pursue a more happy and fulfilled life. It's time for Ask Rainy. I'm gonna read from Brittany. She sent in her question. Brittany says, I struggle with being a people pleaser and my family tried to control me with guilt when I say no to something they want me to do. I don't know how to handle situations like this. Can you share your advice? Brittany, I want to encourage you to work on having more boundaries, healthy boundaries that protect your peace and guard your heart. You saying no to things that you don't wanna do is not wrong, it's okay. And I want you to make peace with that and really make peace with yourself that it's okay. That it's okay if you can't do something they want you to do or they ask you to go somewhere and you can't do it or you don't wanna do it. It's okay to say no. You have to make peace with yourself. You have to become an advocate for yourself and you have to let them know, listen, I love you. I want the best for you. I really don't want to do this. I do not want to do it. No, I'm sorry. I'm, and you don't even have to apologize because there's nothing wrong with saying no. But listen, boundaries are important for protecting our peace. They help us to have healthier relationships. They teach us how to teach people how to treat us. And it's so important that you share your healthy boundaries with your family. I hope this message helped you. I want to encourage you to keep working on yourself and continue to overcome those people-pleasing tendencies and begin to put more self-care and self-love in your daily routine. Now, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and like the video and share with me what will you do to begin to pay more attention to your emotions and change some of the things that you're doing so that you can release some of those, some of those uncomfortable emotions that have been weighing you down. What are you going to do? I want to hear from you in the comments. Also, share this video. Someone needs to hear it. Someone needs to watch this video and learn about being aware of their emotions and the signs that their emotions are speaking to them and what their emotions are saying. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. I have so much more coming. Thanks again for tuning in and watching. To get more information on my books and to connect with me, the links in the description in this video and I look forward to connecting with you. Check out this next video. I know you'll enjoy it. Thanks again for watching.